We are back on the move again, finally, after what feels like has been possibly the longest winter in living memory. For, for me at least, anyway. What about, what about you? Long, long one? For sure. It's for been sure. lots of bad weather. It's been cold forever. But we are back on the move and something incredibly special has happened. We have what I call the holy trifecta have all come into alignment for us to visit a group of anchorages which we've been wanting to visit now every year that we go past but there's always been something stopping us namely the wind is in the wrong direction the firing ranges are well firing uh, or you know the sun isn't shining the sun shining is not really that important but the first two are for those of you that know the area you've probably already connected the dots but for those of you that don't we're heading to a few absolutely stunning anchorages along the Jurassic coast and we have everything we've got winds coming in from the north that's going to leave us with hopefully a lot of shelter and clear water yes. uh, the firing ranges aren't firing all week since the half term the kids are on holiday so that's a bonus and on top of that the bonus of all bonuses is the sun is going to be shining so it's going to look amazing and I can't wait to take you there but we we are just motoring Kadoa out into the Solent now we're going to have a little shakedown sale we're going to pit stop in uh, a beautiful little river just around the corner we're going to take you guys with us there but then tomorrow we're off to the Jurassic Coast all right are you excited to be back on the boat are you excited to go for all those new walks everyone's missed you mate everyone's missed you they've all said in the comments where's the star of the show I assume they mean you. Well, here he is, guys. He's just coming back. So he's coming out of hibernation. <laughs> out of his winter hibernation. There's the star and the co-star. Can you say hello to everyone? Hi, everybody. Now remember, young Ginge, not too long in the sun, that stuff will kill you. Hello, are you gonna come say hello to everyone with me? <laughs> All right, so the wind has just died off and so we've failed in the head sail and fired the engine up, but I tell you what, on a day as beautiful as today, that doesn't feel like too much of a tragedy. The vitamin D is coming in strong. Anyway, we're motor sailing up towards Hearst Castle and we're gonna be making a pit stop we're not going to be leaving the Solent tonight. But a couple of things that have just kind of broken and a little niggly things. We're just going to fix them tonight and then we're going to get up bright and early tomorrow. We're going to use the tide that flows through Hearst to catapult us really early in the morning off towards these Jurassic anchorages. All right, we're just heading up the river, having for a little spot to drop the anchor. I'm fairly sure this is a paid anchorage. This is Lord Montague's river, nonetheless. I have no idea who that is, but I just felt like the right way to say it. 
Anyway, they've got a couple of boats with anchor boys up now, and so we've got a little spot here, and I think what we might do is drop the anchor, because that's, all, that's always going to be cheaper than a marina or a mooring boy, isn't it? So we'll drop the hook for the first time this year, get bedded in, offload the dinghy, and then maybe take you for a little dinghy ride further up the river. That looks good. All right, thank you. Don't need these. Gives me a chance to use this. <coughs> this is a new snabber that we've made. In fact, Carly made it. And uh, just some three strand line that we've basically spliced this little anchor, this little hook on the end to. So we've got some three strand line. We've spliced, might not be the prettiest slice in the world. It's our first time splicing three braided line. But this hopefully will just be a nice quick and easy snubber. You see, normally what we do is we'll put like a rolling hitch on a piece of line and tie that to both the anchor chain and then the cleat and we'll let that go and that'll be our snubber. And that has been fine actually uh, for, for years, but hopefully this will just be a bit quicker, a bit easier and save some fuss when we're in a bit of a bouncy anchorage and need to get going. Undoing a rolling hitch with all of that chain, chinking and chopping around isn't always that much fun, but yeah, new addition. Are you ready for some shoreside adventures? Absolutely. How about you, Hank? You ready for a bit of an exploration? The walkies. Your vessel awaits. Why, thank you, sir. It's the first time we've left our boat in an anchorage. This year. My goodness, quite. You can anchor, this is the only spot you can anchor, and that's between pylons 20 and 22, which are the two port side markers. Uh, so that's where we've squeezed ourselves in between. So we're just heading up the river, quite a way up the river actually, to a place called Buckler's Hard. And I don't know about you, but Buckler's Hard sounds, well, like old school piratey, swashbuckling, don't you think? <laughs> I think it does. Uh, but yeah, no, it's really, really beautiful up here and it's really amazing, given the density of boats, it's really busy, there are boats absolutely everywhere, and yet it still feels remarkably tranquil. Beautiful spot. Hello. What are you doing in my <laughs> We've come to loot and plunder. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, good. good. Awesome. Are you guys married yet? Not yet. No, Not yet. Really? Yeah. Oh, big day, big day. Do you remember yeah. each other? Yeah. Yes, no. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, not, it's, it's a fun fight there. You follow um, me around. Okay. The Bewley River is actually located in a place called the New Forest. And the New Forest isn't really that new at all, actually. It was commissioned to be planted out to oak by King Henry VIII all the way back when. And those oak trees would later go on to be built into Lord Nelson's formidable naval fleet. So Hank was thinking about going vegan this year and he's just making a start. How are you finding that vegan diet, Hank? Is it everything you hoped it would be? Oh, he seems to be enjoying it.
that is an absolutely amazing sunset. What a brilliant way to finish our first day. So we've had a bit of a shakedown and we've ended up here in the Beauty River, which is a new anchorage for us, which means it is, of course, going to make an appearance very shortly on kadoa.com in our anchorages section. So if you've never been there before, I'll pop a link in the description. Uh, go check it out. It's completely free to use. It's just all of the places that we go and visit, how we find them, what we thought was good, perhaps what wasn't, maybe some information hopefully in there that could be of use. And then whatever video happens to correspond to that anchorage, so you can really get our our take on uh, on the place itself. So I think Carly and I are going to call it a night. We're up super early in the morning. We're going to be up at five in the morning so that we can get Hank walked back on the boat and then we're going to catch that early morning tide which comes ripping out of here around Hearst Castle and that's going to jettison us hopefully all the way to some amazing anchorages in the Jurassic Coast that we have never had the opportunity to go to before. And of course, we're going to take you guys with us and then however they are, good, bad or ugly, we're going to pop them on the Kadoa.com anchorages page and again, hopefully you guys can enjoy that too. Anyway, we'll see you, well, tomorrow my time, probably next week your time. Take care, stay safe, bye for now.